Okay, hey everybody. Now that we're starting to work with layout tabs and viewports and scaling, uh, this is where we can start to use annotative dimensioning. Um, and there's also annotative text and annotative leaders. So let's see if I can kind of show you an example of that. So what I've done here is I've actually created a um, dimension style that's annotative. So let's just take a look at that. So I'm going to go into my dimension style and the dimension style that I've uh, that's annotative is this one here called decimal dim and you'll notice it has the annotative scale symbol okay that's supposed to be an end view of a scale there all right and um, I'm gonna go into modify and when you're in modify in your dimension style um, under the fit tab is where the annotative checkbox is to make dimensions annotative. So I have that checked. Um, your other settings, such as your text height and your symbols and arrows, your arrowhead size, um, what type of arrowheads you want to use, etc., those should all um, be the height and the size that you would want them to print. Okay, so no matter what size mechanical drawing I have, I do want my text to always print a text height of 0.1, and I do I always want my arrows to be a consistent size of 0.125, which is an eighth inch. Okay, all right. So um, those are my settings, and I'm gonna um, make sure that that's set current. Okay. So you can see here that's my current dimension style. So if I put a dimension in, it follows that style. Okay. All right. So I've got this um, T flange drawing here, and one of the first things I want to know before I start dimensioning it is what scale, uh, zoom scale, is my viewport? Okay. To that holds this drawing. So let's go to layout one. And I'm going to double click inside my viewport and I'm going to play around with some scales to see um, what works. Now, one to one is, is much too big, so I'm going to try one to two. Okay, so the scale of one to two, which is half scale, works quite nicely. Okay, so now that I know the scale that um, my viewport is, um, I'm going to go back to model space and I'm going to get ready to dimension this. Now this is where it's important to make the scales match, okay? So while I'm in the full model space here, in the model tab, notice there's also a scaler um, on the status bar and it has that same interesting symbol and um, that annotative symbol. So I'm going to pick on that and I'm going to pick one to two. Okay, and what that do, does is it's going to make the dimensions come in the correct size um, for that viewport, which is at one to two. It's going to do it automatically. This is a wonderful thing, wonderful tool. All right, so um, I'm going to use my dimension toolbar, or you can use the ribbon to throw a few dimensions on here. So I'm going to do dimension linear. Okay, and all right, those um, those look pretty good. Okay, so now if I go into my layout one tab, okay, um, those dimensions. Let me just move, adjust that a little bit. Uh, those dimensions are the correct size and height um, for this particular viewport scale, also, which is at one to two. So those dimensions, their text height will print the original settings in my dimension style. The text height will print 0.1 and the arrowheads will print an eighth inch. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what would happen if we decided to change the scale of the viewport. Okay, so let's change the scale of the viewport to be let's say 1 to 4. Alright, now um, in this instance um, because I have um, a couple of these um, scale buttons turned off, when the scale changes, the dimensions look like they disappeared. Okay, and that's because um, the dimension scale that we put them in at model space now doesn't match 
the viewport scale anymore. My viewport scale is now one to four. All right, so let's go into model. And what I'm going to do down here, if you notice on the scale bar, I'm going to change this to be one to four. And you're going to see the dimensions change. Okay, you see them get much, much bigger. Okay, let's go back to our layout tab now. Okay, so here they are um, at one to four. And it may be hard to notice, but these dimensions are the same size as far as the text height and the arrowhead size as they were at one to two. All right, so notice the size of the dimensions. I'm going to change the scale back to one to two. Notice the size of the dimensions is the same. Okay, let's go back to one to four. And the dimension size is the same. Okay, and that's what we want. We want that consistency that the printed um, height of our dimensions, text, and leaders is always consistent. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, with using um, annotative um, dimension styles. I'm changing my scaler back to half uh, because that is the scale that I'm going to use in this viewport is half and um, they match so that should be kind of a good introduction to annotative dimensioning. I hope that helps and I hope you can give that a try. <laughs>